My name is Calvin Waite and I trade Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for a living. Today I wanted to do a quick follow up on a couple of coins and starting with Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin's monthly chart. So you can see that there is, this is nearly five years worth of data. And I put this green triangle in one of my last videos just saying that because this, this resistance was so strong and lasted almost three years that there was no way that investors would let us cross it. <laughs> I know that's quite a claim to say nothing will be crossed because that's not necessarily very realistic. But in my opinion, when you have resistance that is so, so, so powerful for so long, you are it will absolutely become support on the other side and look what's happened so i've kind of created this green zone that is our support i just don't think we'll exit the bottom of this green zone but i expected that we could even touch this line but that we'd at least be involved in here somewhere well look what's happening so when we line up the tops of these monthly candles there was also a shorter period of resistance here and when we finally broke through both of them, we had this candle here that we are down. We have six days left in our monthly candle. And we, I thought perhaps we could end in this green zone, have a wick touch and then start moving out. But the momentum that we're seeing lately is absolutely indicative of the strength of Bitcoin. Like this move is not over yet. This candle here is simply going to be a continuation because we have we have higher lows moving up and one month where the low is still in trend. Um, it's this looks really nice. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of let you kind of see where we are and see how this is playing out. Um, today has been quite an interesting day. Now the rest of the alt market has been really, really rough. I'm going to show you the Bitcoin dominance chart. This is Bitcoin dominance on a monthly basis. So our we've had a pretty sweet altcoin run as Bitcoin dominance has decreased. And this little move here has caused a lot of pain for the past month in the alt market. So as I mentioned in my last video, we are at at least the the segment of the sample of coins that I'm trading I only have 8% of my portfolio in positions where I expect coins to continue moving up the rest of the 92% are expected to either continue downward or they're at least in a in a bearish position right now uh, everything you know it's just amazing that the entire market has kind of made the same decision here so this was something that i wanted to show you i wanted to give a quick uh warning to those that are trading link let me pull that that uh, chart up really quick so link we're going to look at daily and i'm going to zoom out here so back when i had spoken about link we connected these two this is our fast rise line our slow rise line is is still in play but um, we definitely crossed our slow rise line and this point here is going to be very significant because this point is a is a solid marker on this chart it stands out like a sore thumb and investors are going to be watching it so what happened when we initially dropped down we touched it and bounced pretty good but our overall top line trend did not change we touched the line and with it being near this um, support because we broke above we had a couple of days where investors were deciding whether it was going to be significant or not well unfortunately we did break down Today, Link is having an awesome day, but my warning is that 
whenever you have a solid point that has um, been established and, and tested and then it fails, there will be resistance on the other side. So we are down here and it's going to take some work to get through this. So um, link is, is very emotional, so it doesn't have to follow the rules, but you may consider taking profits here because it, there could be another move or moves. We may need to touch this line again or this one here um, in order to gain our footing and get some consolidation under us before we can move upward. So just a heads up, you know, I mean, hopefully I'm wrong because we love Link, but um, this is definitely as good of a day we're having. This does not mean that Link's just going to fly up to the moon. So be sensible on that. Um, the main coin that I wanted to um, take a look at today is Binance coin. So Binance is, is one that has a very unique value proposition. Of course, it's tied to the um, survival of Binance Exchange, and they have good and bad uh, reputation and, and things. But here is, uh, since 2017, here's monthly chart of Binance. It was launched. Uh, 2018 and 2019 got really excited and then we've had a very interesting period of consolidation broke below touched it and broke through so this is this is a significant line and this is extremely significant let me go to weekly and I'll see if I can make it a little bit more pronounced so um, if I was, if you handed me this chart and I said, what are the most significant points on this mark, on this chart? Um, here we have resistance flipping to support. Here is, um, here's a level of recent, so resistance, resistance, breakthrough, didn't follow the rules, but then this became a support line later on but this point is probably one of our most significant. We have, a, we have a point in history here. We have a wick up, and now we, we had a lot of power to bust through it, but it immediately turned around. So that's not helpful, but what I can tell you about this chart is that we have very defined levels of support that have increased. So even though this was a period of sort of consolidation that failed, the failure was very minor. So this move down to here, a lot of times if you have a coin that, that is in a consolidation fate, um, situation where you're, you're tr trading in a pretty tight range for a very long period of time, when you finally break out, you usually break out pretty hard. And what adds to the in the interest of this is that not only did we break down but we even confirmed it by retouching it and being rejected again normally this type of a move would sell off this is a this would be a high probability short trade because there's a higher than 50 percent chance that this would have dropped to at least this level and if that failed we'd be down here but we didn't and that's what's very amazing. We ended up going back to that um, that level and fought through, and we're back up. So even though we didn't hold this line, I'll draw these so that it's a little easier to see. We did not hold this line as um, for very long, and so we've passed back through it. We did manage to, it's kind of a messy line here. This is definitely the bottom right here. So I will put the line right there. <clears throat> so this line here, this was our trading range. Here we fell out, we got rejected, which confirmed our, our failure. This would have normally sold off, but look at this, we popped through and then we've stayed above our bottom line and then gathered 
momentum. So what do you think this move will do? In my opinion, I believe that this is a very short term. Um, this is this is a short term run. And the reason why I'm looking at this level here that we seem to be floating above. But um, if I go to daily, I'll add a little bit of color with some trend lines and things. <clears throat> um, we have we have a situation where we have our uh, 50 day moving average increasing. We recently had a golden cross and we did find support on a 50. So as much downward pressure as we have here, um, we have a lot of support in this range and in our build-up phase. So this handoff from here to here is complete and it looks pretty promising. So one other thing to keep in mind, and this is what most Binance traders know, is that there is uh, negative inflation on, on Binance coin that the amount of supply and circulation right now will decrease over time. That makes these coins slightly more valuable as time goes on. But again, the uh, inherent risk is that that depends on Binance exchange staying intact. So every exchange, especially the biggest ones, you know, people and bad players have them in their sites and they're always looking for ways to uh, take down or steal from exchanges like this but um, as a business and as a as a coin that that um, that has a very promising future this is a pretty pretty awesome coin and this move here kind of shows that people are excited and and ready to to move it upward we get is we get into this green zone here. The green zone lasts as long as we stay above this 50. So watch the 50 like a hawk, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks we can break above this line that um, that we've weakened already. I mean, we've definitely weakened it here, and so the chances of us passing through it is greater. So anyway, best of luck in your trading, you guys. We'll talk to you next time. Hey, thanks for hanging on till the end of the video. If you liked anything I said, please support the channel by subscribing. If not, feel free to leave a comment and I'd be happy to take a look and make improvements to the channel so it'll be better next time.